We glossed over India a moment ago. An incredible misconception exists concerning India. The common belief has been that India broke away from, well, the bottom of Africa, rode up the Indian Ocean through some manner of means, and it crashed into the bottom of Asia. Its impact was so great, say the scientists, that the Himalayas were created and stacked up mountain range on mountain range to its current state, and that even now mountains are continuing to grow as India continues to drive up Asia. If there wasn't so much evidence of this happening, this would seem like a preposterous and even stupid idea. Well, it is a preposterous and even stupid idea. How can an island uproot itself from the ocean floor, seemingly float across the ocean, and crash into Asia so forcefully that it created mountain ranges over millennia and continues to build these mountains today? It shatters common sense. This is a wrong theory. The lower plates spread apart, and that must explain everything. Must. Yet the stacked up mountains are there, and still they grow. Hey, just a thought. Maybe Italy crashed into Europe, like India crashed into Asia. A little smaller, but they look the same to me. Of course, I have an answer to this mystery. Two gigantic ramjet rocket motors mounted on the base of India, fueled by the magma flow from inside the Earth. Well, no. There is a logical explanation for the growing Himalayas above a mass of India, and this is it. India was once attached to Africa when the world was much smaller. It was also attached to Asia. As the earth grew, Africa unwrapped from under the earth and tore away from India. Spreading down from the Arctic and away from North America, Eurasia was still the largest landmass on earth. The recurving of this gigantic landmass created the greatest folding of the upper crust on Earth. This folding and mountaining happened just above this new triangular broken away peninsula that we call India. If India wasn't hanging down there, northern India would be Asia's coast. This land area was stretched out to the side. Just as northern Italy was stretched sideways because it was on Europe's stretching coast. Down lower, on both India and Italy, the sideways pulling tension ceased and normal recurving, mild mountaining began anew.